Good day grade 11s, welcome to the next lesson in equations and inequalities. In the last lesson we learnt how to prove the quadratic formula and how it came about by basically completing the square. Now we're going to look at a little video which shows us how to use the quadratic formula. Use the quadratic formula to solve the equation. 0 is equal to negative 7q squared plus 2q plus 9. Now, the quadratic formula, it applies to any quadratic equation of the form. We can put the 0 on the left-hand side. 0 is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And we, we generally deal with x's. In this problem, we're dealing with q's. But the quadratic formula says, look, if you have a quadratic equation of this form, that the solutions, the solutions of this equation are going to be x is going to be equal to negative b, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that over 2a. And this is actually two solutions here, because there's one solution where you take the positive square root, and there's another solution where you take the negative solution, the negative root. So it gives you both roots of this. So if we look at the, the quadratic equation that we need to solve here, we can just pattern match. We're dealing with q's, not x's, but it's the same general idea. It could be x's if you like. And if we look at it, negative 7 corresponds to a. That is our a. It's the coefficient on the second degree term. 2 corresponds to b. It is the coefficient on the first degree term. And then 9 corresponds to c. It's the constant. It's the constant. So let's just apply the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula will tell us that the solutions, the q's that satisfy this equation, q will be equal to negative b. b is 2 plus or minus, plus or minus the square root of b squared, of b squared, of 2 squared, 2 squared, minus, minus 4 times a, times negative 7, times negative 7, times c, times c, which is 9, times 9, and all of that over 2a, all of that over all of that over 2 times a, which is once again negative 7, which is negative 7. And then we just have to evaluate this. So this is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to negative 2, negative 2 plus or minus the square root of, see 2 squared is 4, and then if we just take this part right here, if we take the negative 4 times negative 7 times 9, this negative and that negative is going to cancel out. So it's just going to become a positive number. And 4 times 7 times 9. 4 times, see, 4 times 9 is 36. 36 times 7, let's do it up here. 36 times 7, 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 3, or 3 times 7 is 21, plus 4 is 25. 252. So this becomes 4 plus 252. Remember, this is a you have a negative 7 and you have a minus out front. Those cancel out. That's why we have a positive 252 for that part right there. And then our denominator, our denominator, 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Now what does this equal? What does this equal? Well, we have this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of, what's 4 plus 252? It's just 256. All of that over negative 14. And what's 256? That's, well, what's the square root of 256? It's 16. You can try it out for yourself. This is 16 times 16. So the square root of 256 is 16. So we can rewrite this whole thing as being equal to negative 2 plus the square plus 16 over negative 14, or negative 2 minus, right? This is plus 16 over negative 14, or minus 16, or minus 16 over negative 14, right? If you think of it plus or minus, that plus is that plus right there. And if you have, if you have that minus, that minus is that minus right there. Now we just have to evaluate these two numbers. You just have to evaluate them. Negative 2 plus 16 is 14 divided by negative 14 is negative 1. So q could be equal to negative 1 
or negative 2 minus 16 is negative 18 divided by negative 14 is equal to 18 over 14, the negatives cancel out, which is equal to 9 over 7. So q could be equal to negative 1, or it could be equal to 9 over 7. And you could try these out, substitute these q's back into this original equation and verify for yourself that they satisfy it. We could even do it with the first one. So if you take q is equal to negative 1, negative 7 times negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared is just 1, so this it would be negative 7 times 1, right, that's negative 1 squared, Negative 1 times 2 is minus 2 plus 9. So it's, my, it's negative 7 minus 2, which is negative 9, plus 9 does indeed equal 0. So this checks out. And I'll leave it up to you to, to verify that 9 over 7 also works out. Right, grade 11. So that was an excellent video that showed you how to do that. I just want to point out one thing for you. And this is that the coefficient is also included. So if you have an ex thing that goes a is equal, sorry, let's try again, 0 is equal to, let's say, 2x squared minus 3x plus c. Um, let's make that 6. Okay, plus 6. And your formula is equal to x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And he did show it on the previous example because his a had a negative number in front of this, but I want you to be aware of this as well. For this example, your a is 2 and your b is equal to minus 3. You must remember that the general formula for the quadratic equation is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So if you've got a minus 3 there, the minus 3 is actually part of the b. So the b is minus 3 and in this case c equals 6. So you have to include the operand in front, especially if it's a negative, okay, in your a, b and c. If you don't do that, you're not going to get these questions right. Right, grade 11, so what's left to you to do is to go practice, practice, practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day. Thank <laughs> you.